In this demonstration, I'm going to show you guys how to install a WordPress website or blog using the cPanel one-click installer. Um, this is the quickest and easiest method to install WordPress. Um, it's literally about three or four clicks once you figure out the process. Um, and okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. First step is to um, log in or get access to your uh, cPanel login. Uh, in my case, that is my domain. So demo.justvalley.com slash cPanel. If you're using control panel or cPanel software, um, most likely this is um, the case for you as well. Um, depending on your host, you might have to go through your uh, actual host uh, login portal. But uh, in my case, I'm using zendohost.com and I'm able to just access it using my own domain slash cPanel. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna log in here. Okay, so this is the newest version of the cPanel uh, site software dashboard. This is, uh, I believe, the Paper Lantern theme. And this has all the tools that you need built into one, one area. So you have file manager, billing support, everything. So, so if, you, if you use cPanel, you're, you're somewhat familiar with the tools in here. Um, for this tutorial, we're gonna move forward and uh, show you how to quickly create a WordPress blog. So you're gonna search for site software. You're gonna choose WordPress. And here, you're gonna have um, a form to fill out, and this is uh, where you want to install your WordPress site. So oftentimes you might want to do a sub, a, a sub um, site, you, you might want to be blog or news. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it at WordPress. So my site's gonna be demo.josephvalley.com slash WordPress. Admin's gonna be Joseph, password is gonna be uh, password. You know what, we'll generate password. Copy that, use password. And I'm gonna leave all of this um, information the same. Um, let's see, blog name. This is where you can type in, if you, if you already know the, uh, the name of your blog and what you're gonna be calling your, your website, you can go and type it here. Um, it's, you can easily change it once you set up the website. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna put Joseph Ali's WordPress blog. Just so that WordPress site, okay. And the table prefix is just WP for WordPress, and then create new database. I'm gonna go ahead and click install. And there we go. So now we have um, our, our site installed at demo.josephalley.com slash WordPress. And my username is Joseph, and that is the password. So now if I click the link, here's the site. And if I click or type WP admin to access the WordPress dashboard, uh, I should be able to log in and <clears throat> start making changes to the website. Um, there we go. So now I have access to WordPress install and, and literally in just a few clicks using the cPanel dashboard, I have a uh, WordPress website set up.